Topic 3 Sales In this video, so we're going to go through all the sales related transactions. So, this is a uh, we are a design and landscaping companies, so we're going to provide uh, the relevant service. So, let's see what kind of service, what kind of products we are selling. Okay. Let's select the uh, gear and uh, see the all lists. And right here we have product and services and product categories. The product categories give the framework. So let's click the product categories. So we see the framework of all our products and services. So basically we have design. Right, we design fountains and we install fountains, and we have landscaping services, including sprinklers, and we also provide pest control services. And for more details, all these are the surveys and inventory lists. As you can see, for the inventories, we also have the, as well as a service, for most of the service inventories, we have the price, right? For inventories, we also have the cost and number of hand, a number of quantities on hand. Right, some of the inventories and uh, most of the inventories and some of the services are taxable, and this we have to follow the local tax rules. It depends. Some of are non-taxable. Obviously, we have enabled inventory uh, tractions. So if you're not sure, we can go back to the uh, account and settings. And uh, the sales functions, right? For product and services, right? The, uh, we enable the quantity and price rates. We enable the track inventory on hand functions. And the other functions like show SKU columns is currently off, and you may turn it on. And this is a price rules, and the better mean, means it's a new function. Uh, what is price rule? Let's see. The price rule allows you to provide discounts for specific products to certain customers for a specified amount of time. Okay, so we can set up a rule saying, okay, for certain customers, we're going to give you a limited time products or service on sale, okay, 50% discount for you, we're going to do that, but for now, we're going to, we're going to turn it off, we do not want to make things too complicated, you can have a try if you want, uh, you can, you can, if, if you want it, if you want to have a try, you can turn it on. So this year, I decided to open my, uh, expand my business a little bit. I'm going to provide lighting services. I'm going to install uh, holiday lights to my customers. Although we have a uh, lighting services in design, but we do not have any products to sell. So I'm going to add a new product. So first of all, I'm going to go back to the uh, uh, product categories. Under design, I'm going to set up another sub categories, lighting services, lighting.
I'm going to click new categories. And uh, lighting. And this is a subcategory of of design. Okay. Save. You can't use lighting because lighting already exists. All right, lighting is part of the services. So I'm going to choose a, another name, lights. How about that? Okay. Okay, that's fine. So I'm going to add uh, new programs to the lights category. I'm going to click new. Okay, it's part of the inventories. So the first product I'm going to add is uh, the Christmas LED RGB, which means it's colorful RGB lights, light, 100 feet. If you know the SKU, you can put that. And the category, it's part of the design lights. Okay, initial quantity on hand. We don't have any more. Uh, for now, it's zero as of January the 1st. And move on. Yeah, it's, it's part of the inventories. And... Uh, Typically, we're going to sell this Christmas 100 feet RGB lights for, let's say, unit price, typically $35. And the, if we sell, it becomes our income, right? It's part of sales of product income. Typically, it's taxable with standard rates, right? It could be non-taxable if it's a service. And now, how do we get those LED light? Uh, we have to purchase those LED light, right? So typically, if we purchase those LED light, if we have, we if we have a a vendor with whom we have a contract so we can get those LED light let's say uh, $15 per unit uh, and once we purchase it becomes Costco sold increase our Costco sold if we purchase And our preferred vendors, and we, for example, we have a contract with right Hicks Hardware, for example. And so we always get LED light from Hicks Hardware, and that's it. We finish the uh, new LED light. Immediately, you can see. Because we are tracking our inventories, the LED light is out of stock. Okay. And we can do the same thing. We're gonna we can create other other inventory into this list. Next I'm going to order some of those LED light. So we're going to select editor, we're going to reorder LED light. Obviously we have we have already put the vendor information so we're going to order from Hex Hardware. Okay.
and this is a now we no longer use a category details instead we use item details now because we are doing transactions with a specific product and services is here right that's a LED light so we're going to order let's say uh, 30 unit and fixed rate is $15 per unit we can change that if they increase the price so the total is 150 uh, we're gonna save and close so we have sent purchase orders so we're gonna go through their credit purchase okay when Hicks hardware sent those LED light they're gonna send us bill and then we're gonna pay the, pay the bills so for example uh, Hicks hardware send us a bill so we're gonna record the bill from Hicks hardware we have seen that so we're gonna click bills they're gonna receive the bill from Hicks hardware add the purchase order and save and close which means we have received those LED light and uh, just wait for payment so go back to the product service we're gonna see right those LED light uh, have arrived 30 units on hand okay And many times when we install LED light, we have, uh, if we sell LED light, we have to install for customers. And that becomes a, a bundle, okay? Which is a inventory plus service. So I'm I'm gonna call this uh, Christmas LED package. So this package includes. LED light one LED light and uh, the lighting installation which is part of the I uh, see part of the uh, design service Let me see. By the lighting service. Okay. And save and close. Another thing we may create here is called a non inventory. Non inventory are products that uh, we want to buy or want to sell but we don't need to track those quantities right for example 
here we have nuts and bolts those are typical non inventory non inventories okay all right so now we are ready to create sales and for sales in accounting typically we have credit sales and cash sales and credit for credit sales we can let customers purchase with credit so basically uh, with, with sales we, we, we send invoices to customers and they're gonna pay us later for cash sales we provide services we ship the goods and we get payment immediately okay we're gonna get through these two types of sales in QuickBooks so first let's talk about credit sales so let's get to the customer list for example Amy's bird sanctuary called asking for LED light package okay so we're gonna create an estimate for them okay so we can create estimate right from here or we can create a new estimate here basically they're doing the same thing so we're gonna create a estimate for Amy's bed this information is filled automatically So what they're asking for is uh, the LED light package. So we send a technician over there, okay, measure the, the place. Tip. So for example, uh, we said five unit of, uh, five unit package should be enough to satisfy their needs. So the LED light alone is $155 and plus we need to install the light that part of the service alone labor will be another $100. Let's assume both are taxable. The total estimate for this job is $675 and plus 8% uh, installation cost 8% 8% uh, tax the total will be uh, seven hundred twenty nine dollars well, it looks like our installation cost is very high but uh, it's it's a tough job because uh, obviously they have a three-story building so it takes some effort to install light for them okay so therefore this this garden lighting service is uh, is variable depends on the difficult difficultness of the job uh, for Amy's birds sanctuary it's 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 more difficult so we're gonna charge more all right so we do offer them uh, a five percent discount Uh, we're gonna give them uh, for example we did estimate on right the 2nd of January and uh, we give them
about three weeks. One, two, three. We give them three weeks to think about it. So this offer expires on the 23rd of January. So we can also put the crew number, technician's ID right here. And that's it for a typical estimate. You can save and send. You can send emails to the Amy's bird. For now, we're going to save and close. So we've created estimates immediately. We're going to see we have a new one estimate. Obviously, this is for Amy's bird sanctuary. Okay. We have other information like unbuilt activities. We have two uh, right. Uh, three actually. One for Amy's bird. We have another unbuilt activities. I'm gonna see what is this. Okay, we do have a, a time charge for customer design for Amy's bird December 2020. Okay, we can waiting to 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 we're waiting to send the invoice. And we have two undoed activities for video games by Dan. All right. Okay. So we received the call from Amy's Bird Sanctuary saying, okay, they say yes. Okay, let's do it. So we're going to provide a service. We're going to bill, send invoice to Amy's Bird. Right, we can find estimates and we can uh, create an invoice right from here. Or we can create a new, right? Create an invoice. And select Amy's bird structuring. As you know, we have two uh, billable and we're going to just add to the lighting service along. Invoice date, which is today, we received the call today. Give them 30 days to pay. And we have the product services with LED light package, right? The total amount, including tax and 5% uh, discount is $695.25. Right, we can save and send, we can send invoice, but for now we're going to just save and close, save and close. Okay, so we created the invoice. So the next step is we're going to receive payment because we already provide service, we installed a light. So I'm going to receive payment. We can record a receive payment right here, 
or again you can create new and uh, receive payment. So receive payment. For example, they paid check, and uh, we're gonna currently record the check into undeposit funds. Okay, instead of checking account, because we're gonna deposit those checks into the checking account later. So currently we have two invoices from Amy's Bird, so we're going to just uh, receive the payment for the light installation. Save and, save and close. Alright, so we can check the product and services. And if you look at the LED light, right previously we have 30, we sold 5, so we have 25 left. Right? Alright, next. Amy's bird actually is not satisfied with one of the LED light unit okay and they called us saying that they want to remove it or return it and uh, I told them that yes we we can receive the uh, we can take it back but the installation cost is not refundable okay it, it's very expensive to climb up and down uh, so we're gonna we're gonna remove it remove it for free but we're not going to refund you the installation cost only the LED light so we're going to do the sales return we're going to create new and customers we do have the uh, uh, refund receipt So we're going to refund to Emmy's Bird Sanctuaries. We're going to send them a check from our checking account. By the particular products, we're going to refund a. Again, it's not for the package. We only agreed to take one unit of LED light back okay we're gonna refund for one LED light and previously we offer them a 5% discount so we're gonna take so we're gonna refund uh, Amy's bird factory $36.05 including tax and discount gonna put some message reasons why they take it back right all right and save it close so this refund is going to reduce our sales What's going to happen to my inventories? Is I'm going to take one LED back. Now my Christmas LED light has 26 units on hand. Hopefully the, the one we, 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 we took back is still usable for resale. And probably not. But that's another story. Right, that's sales return. 
again, it's Amy's bed sexual story. So if we go back to the, uh, to their accounts. So we have a, a overdue invoice, $239, which is a, a landscaping and a rock fountain service. The reason they, they haven't paid us is they're not satisfied with the job, okay? So there's a lot of uh, back and forth argument. So eventually, we agreed to give them a one hundred dollars credit. Okay, so they agreed to pay us if we take one hundred dollars off. That becomes a, a sales credit. So we're gonna record this credit, and for this is known as credit memo for customers. Again, we're going to offer Amy's Bird Sanctuary $100 credit memo. And specifically, that's for the, uh, uh, the fountain. For rock fountain, right? We're gonna offer them a one hundred dollars credit memo, including tax that's one hundred eight dollars. So I'm not gonna offer them a The credit memo is just one hundred dollars. Okay. And now they are willing to pay. Okay, now Amy's bird sector is gonna make the payment with the credit. For the four hundred fifty nine dollar uh, bill in December, they paid already paid at two hundred twenty dollars. So the remaining balance will be two hundred thirty nine dollars. Okay, then we offered one hundred dollars credit. Therefore, the opening balance will be one hundred thirty nine. So they just pay one hundred thirty nine is going to close this bill. All right. So we're going to receive a payment. Amy's bird. So where's the credit? They just they just pay one hundred thirty nine dollars. All right, so. After we receive one thirty nine dollars, this invoice now is fully paid. Also, of course, after we apply, uh, after we apply the uh, the credit memo. All right. If you notice, we also have a unbuilt. We have unbuilt 
uh, service, the customer designs for Amy's bird. So we're going to send invoice because we finished the service. Right. Assume it's not not taxable, so the total charge is three hundred seventy-five dollars. We're gonna save and close. So we send up the bill. So somehow, when we receive a check from Amy's bird, we. We just record her. Uh, we just record her. Uh, a payment without applying the uh, uh, the invoice. That that may happen. If we forgot to apply this invoice, and we receive three hundred seventy-five dollars, if we forgot to apply this invoice, let's see what's going to happen. So you didn't select any invoices. Okay, the system is going to remind you that, okay, something might be wrong. Assume we save as a credit. Okay. Although the for Amy's bird sack trade account, the opening balance is zero, but this invoice is still remain open. Okay. So what we're gonna do? We're gonna. Uh, Solve this problem. So basically, we're going to receive payment. Click receive payment for this invoice. Remember, we also have a credit from the previous payment. So we apply the credit for this invoice. And then we're going to select uh, save and close. That's going to solve the problem. This invoice will be will be paid with a credit. Okay. So that's credit sales. Another type of sales is cash sales. So we can record a cash sales with the sales receipt. Again, it's from Amy's bird sectories. So in this case, we receive cash. Let's say just a check. Okay, again, check. They give us a check. And uh, in this case, we sell them, let's see. Uh, Some trimming services, thirty-five dollars. Now taxable. So same to close. So this is a typical uh, 
cash sales without any invoices. So what's going to happen is if you look at Amy Spurt Secretary's registry, we're going to see it's uh, just one line. The sales received $35 paid. Okay, It's going to increase our sales and also increase our cash. In this case, it's cash remain as undeposited. Okay, undeposited. Again, it's Amy's bird. Remember when we install the light? Uh, it takes a, it takes a quite long to install the light. So I purchased Hamburg. It's ten dollars Hamburg. Uh, so I called Amy's bird. That uh, hopefully they're gonna reimburse my meals expense, and they said yes. Okay, so that's a typical billable expense. Billable expense. Let's record a billable expense for Amy's bird sanctuary. So first, I'm gonna spend money. So that's an expense for me. So I purchased a ten dollars burger from Bob's burger joint with my mouse card. Okay, that's a meal entertainment. Uh, it's ten dollars. So I'm going to select this billable. Because I'm working for one Amy's bird, so they're going to reimburse the uh, meals expense for me. So I'm going to select Amy's bird sanctuary and save to close. All right, if you go. To the Amy's Bird Sanctuary, you're going to see there's a $10 open amount. Uh, it remains as open because we haven't sent the invoice to Amy's Bird. So next, because they have agreed to reimburse my $10 meals expense, so I'm going to send them the invoice. So everything is automatically filled. And then just uh, record a payment and that's it. So that's a billable expense. So finally, let's talk about uh, the delay charges. Or the delayed credit. So basically, they're very similar. Delayed charges for customers. Basically, delayed charges means we have multiple, we provide multiple service or goods to customers regularly. For example, three times a month. However, it's not a recurring service or recurring sales because every time the charges may be different. So the loan service could be one example so they we provide long service sometimes twice uh, twice a month during the summer or in spring and every week during the summer and once a month in winter for Amy's bird sanctuary and every time the charges could be different depends on the workload so instead of billing Amy's bird every week or every twice we uh, 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 twice a month, we're gonna bill Amy's bird once a month, and uh, we're gonna after every service we're gonna record a delayed charge for our service. 
So we're going to work for Amy's bird, for example, at the beginning of the month. So we provided some trimming service. This time workload is, is light, so the $15 beginning of the month. Then another charges for Amy's birthday is right 15th January. But this time it's a little bit more work so it's it's uh forty five dollars. Remember these are not journal entries yet. Okay? Just like uh, something like reminder or memos. So today I decided to build Amy's bird factory for for those uh, training services. Okay, so I'm going to create an invoice. Amy's bird so automatically the system tells me we have two delayed charges, so I can add those two. So the total invoice will be sixty dollars okay save and close and that's it for delayed charges and the same rule applies to delayed credits so every a few weeks we're gonna give customers or uh, uh, some credits so by the end of the month but by the end of the year, we're going to give them a, a credit memo in total. And finally, probably by the end of the month or by the end of the year, we're going to physically count our inventory to see if we have any shortages uh, of our inventories. So to do that, before we do that, we can uh, we can print out inventory list. So what we're going to do is we can go to the uh, product services. Okay, we can export a product and services to Excel file, but I do not want to. I, I just want inventory only, inventory on hand only. So I'm going to customize the report a little, little bit. So I'm going to apply the filters here. I just want to show uh, active inventory. Apply. So I have basically one, two, three, four, five, five inventories. Okay. So these are the current quantity on hand these are the number I'm gonna verify so I can just print it, print it or I can export it okay so that's it